What is this? Do you know what this is? What's this thing called? Well, I'll tell you. It's called a blanket. A blanket. Now, the word blanket is the most general word you could use for this, okay? So this is a blanket. Well, this whole thing is a bed, right? This is my bed. This is a blanket. This is a pillow. And this is the pillow case. Look at that. You can take the pillow out of the pillow case, wash the case, and then put the pillow case back onto the pillow, okay? And look at this. Here, on the mattress, is the sheet, okay? So this is the sheet, and uh, sometimes there are two sheets. Sometimes uh, there's one sheet on the mattress, and then there's another sheet under the blanket. Like, if you go to a hotel, uh, you'll probably have two sheets on your bed. One sheet on the mattress, and then another sheet under the blanket, and you're supposed to sleep in between those two sheets. Okay, so if you are lazy, then you just need to know those three words in English. You can just forget about everything else. Just learn those three words. Blanket, pillow and pillowcase, and sheet. That's it. But if you are a bit of a keener, do you know what a keener is? A keener is a person who loves to learn, who loves to learn new things. You can say that person is a real keener. They're always, they're always learning something. They, they love learning. Okay, I'm a keener. Are you a keener? Well, if you're a keener, you probably want to take your English to a new level. So I'm going to teach you more words, to, uh, like in more ways to say blanket. Now, very often people call this the covers, the covers. Okay, especially kids. Kids call a blanket covers. It's with an S. It's not just cover, it's covers. So if you're feeling cold, you need to, uh, you need to climb under the covers. Climb. I don't know why we use the verb climb. You're not climbing, but uh, you know, you're climbing under the covers. And sometimes we use the verb jump when we talk about getting into bed jump into bed or dive into bed even though you're not really jumping i don't know we say all right it's time to oh it's getting late it's time to jump into bed it's time to climb under <laughs> climb under the covers okay so if you're a kid if you're feeling cold i might say hey come come under the covers i'll tuck you in okay tuck you in means uh, to go like this right imagine this is you you're feeling cold i could tuck you in right here you are, and I'll just, I'll just sort of put the blanket around you like this and a little bit under you. That's called tucking in, to tuck someone in. Okay, so very often kids use the word covers, but if you're an adult, you could use the word covers too to talk about a blanket. Okay, so the next one is comforter. Now, let me ask you again, what is this? Is there a more specific word than a blanket? Well, yes, the answer is yes. This is actually a comforter, a comforter. Now, a comforter is like this. It's almost like a bag, right? There's a thin, you can see there's a, there's, it's like two thin sheets sewn together with some cotton or I don't know what's inside there. And you can see the stitching here. It sort of keeps everything together, right? All the cotton inside isn't going to bunch up into one corner. Everything is sort of even and it's really light, right? It's really light and it's just something you can you can buy from a store, you can get home and just put it on your bed. Easy. You don't have to do anything. It's easy, okay? So that's that's called a comforter. A comforter. Now there's something similar called a duvet. Have you ever heard the word duvet? It's a bit of a strange word. It's spelled D U V E T duvet <laughs> duvet but it's pronounced duvet now duvets are really popular in europe they're very common in europe in north america you know i i don't know if we use duvets in north america or here in asia i'm in thailand right now you know i think i think mostly just people in europe use duvets now a duvet is something like this it's usually just plain white, 
it's like a bag. It's usually a bit thicker. Right, this one, this is thin. You can see how thin that is, right? Uh, so this is a comforter. Usually a duvet is a bit of a sort of a thicker blanket bag kind of thing stuffed with with cotton or with down. Down is goose feathers, those soft feathers um, under under the big feathers on a goose. That's called down. So I think I think duvets are filled with down or with uh, with cotton. So a duvet is like this, except the difference is that a duvet has a cover. Okay. So like I said, usually duvets are just plain white, but you put a cover over the duvet. You know, and the cover could be any color you want. Okay. Now the nice thing about duvets is that uh, you can wash the cover really easily. Right? You just take the duvet out of the cover, you wash the cover, and then you put the, the cover back on the duvet. Okay, so you never actually wash the inside piece. So it's easy to keep clean. So that's one advantage of a duvet. With this, I mean, you can wash this too, but um, you know, it's not as easy to keep clean as a duvet. And you can't change the color, right? This color is a yellow, with uh, with black polka dots, right? If I want to change the color, I mean, I could I could probably buy uh, a duvet cover and put this inside the cover if I want to, but but you know these are really easy. You can just buy them from a store and you're ready to go, right? So that's one of the differences. A duvet is like two pieces. You put one piece inside another piece, and one of the the things, like in my experience with duvets, sometimes duvets get sort of clumped up. All the insides sort of end up in one corner of the duvet, so it's, it's a bit lumpy, right? If, you, if you're lying under the duvet, you know, one corner might be a bit like bunched up, and then you need to sort of even it out. You know, you grab the duvet, shake it out a bit, sort of get all the the innards, whatever they are, you know, cotton or down or whatever, you need to sort of spread, spread it out. Whereas with this, that's not going to happen because you can see these stitches here. I think, I think that keeps everything in its proper place. I don't know. I'm not an expert on blankets or anything. I'm just teaching you the words, the English words. Okay. So this is a comforter but duvets are also very popular, like I said, in Europe. I actually lived in the UK for three months, and so that's why I know about these things. So yeah, in Europe, I've been to like the Netherlands, for example, they use duvets in the Netherlands, in Germany. So that's, when I think duvet, I think Europe, not North America. Okay, so the next one is quilt. Do you know what a quilt is? A quilt, now when I think of quilt, I think of a homemade blanket a homemade sort of a, a blanket with a lot of different colors sort of like a it's almost like a piece of art artwork you know it's really nice like your grandma might have made you a quilt okay that's something <laughs> I think when I think of quilts I think of grandma's grandma's making quilts quilts are are beautiful and they sort of have that personal touch I don't they don't need to be colorful but for some reason, I don't know. I think one of the one of the things about quilts is they sort of have different squares or different patches of color that are sort of sewn together. And another thing about quilts is I think quilts are usually heavier. You know, when I think of a quilt, I think of sort of a a pretty heavy blanket, heavier than usual. I don't know why. That's been my experience. You know, when I sleep with quilts, it's sort of a, a really heavy, heavy and warm. So it's, um, you know, you might use a quilt in the winter. The winter would probably be good. Something like this probably wouldn't be good in Canada for the winter, you know, unless your, your house is really warm. But if you want to, you know, spend a few nights out in a log cabin or something, you know, it'd probably be better to have a quilt, a nice warm quilt to keep you warm in the winter. Okay, now another one, is a fleece blanket. Do you know what a, a fleece blanket is? I'll put a, a picture of a, some quilts and you know fleece blankets here. The, the material fleece is a really soft, a really soft kind of material and usually fleece blankets are thin. 
they're really thin, they're really soft. I don't know how warm they are. Uh, they're, they're, they're nice and warm because they're soft, but they're not very thick, so I don't know if, uh, I don't know if a fleece blanket would keep you really that warm in the winter. I'm not sure. Usually fleece blankets aren't very big, like, you know, I don't think, I've never seen a fleece blanket big enough for like a, a queen size bed or a king size bed. Usually, usually fleece blankets are just more of like a personal size. I don't know. That's been my experience anyway. Now, you might have heard the word bedspread. Bedspread. What is a bedspread? To be honest, when I was thinking about this lesson, I thought, what is a bedspread? I don't even know what a bedspread is. You know, um, is it a sheet? The first thing I thought of, well, it's a, it means a sheet. You hear that loud plane flying over my condo? Wouldn't be a lesson here at Mad English TV without a plane flying over. Okay, so a bedspread, I thought, what is it? Is it, is it a sheet? Is it a blanket? No, I, I don't know. So I just want to tell you honestly, I don't know what a bedspread is. So it's something you put on your bed. I don't know what it is. I just wanted to tell you this as an example that even native English speakers sometimes hear words, like I've heard that word a lot in my life, bedspread. But when I try to think about what it is, I'm not sure. So I just want you to know, native English speakers hear words, and sometimes we don't know what those words really are. You know, I've never really thought about it before. What is a bedspread? You know, so I, let me know. If you know what a bedspread is, let me know down there. Actually, I don't know what a bedspread is. Okay, so what's the next word? Oh, you might have heard of an Afghan. An Afghan. What is that? Not the country, Afghanistan, although I think the word comes from there. Uh, like, you know, the country is Afghanistan and the people are Afghan, Afghani people, right? Now, when you say the word for the blanket, this kind of blanket, then it's pronounced Afghan. I've, I don't think I've ever heard it pronounced Afghan, sort of with a, sort of with a different kind of A, right? Afghan. It's, it's always pronounced Afghan. Now, I don't know, I don't know how common this kind of, of word is, but I've heard it, right? People, especially people who are into like a, you know, style or fashion or, you know, home decoration, they might have some Afghans. Like, it's a kind of blanket that's almost like, um, it almost looks like a knitted, a knitted, maybe a wool, a wool, I actually, I don't know. I really don't know. I shouldn't talk about things I don't know. But it's a kind of blanket. Okay, it's, it's a kind of blanket. Like I said, I don't know, I don't know for what purpose. It's a, it's, it's some kind of a blanket. Okay, and it's called an Afghan. Okay, so those are, what, let me see, is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, now you know some different ways how to say blanket. Like I said, just the, the basic word is blanket. That's really all you need to know. But very often you hear other kinds like duvet, comforter, quilt, fleece, bedspread, and afghan. <laughs> well, those are some other words, other ways you can say blanket. All right, I think I'm just gonna, gonna crawl under the blanket here and <laughs> tuck myself in. All right, I'll just take my mic here and maybe I should sing you a, sing you a lullaby. Do I know any lullabies? rock a bye baby <laughs> Okay, I'll just end this lesson before I, before I uh, make your eardrums explode with my bad singing. So hey, hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.